What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about perimeter defense. With this one here, we'll talk about all the functions, what's the boost difference between heights and some other stuff. And by the way, for those who missed my recent videos, all of these will be on the channel, so it would be really awesome if you guys can check it out. So now let's get right into it. So after lots of testings, here are the things that I found out. First one, perimeter defense is equal to your lateral quickness. And in here you can see that the boost is not linear, it's going up. So meaning, as you put more perimeter defense, the boost gets better and better. Next one, if you got two builds that have different heights, but with the same perimeter defense, in terms of lateral movements, they will have the same speed. In here you can see that's 25 for both 6.7 and 7.3, and they finished at the same time. It doesn't work like speed, because with speed, the bigger player will naturally be slower if their speed ratings are the same. I know it looks weird because naturally, bigger players should be slower, but that's okay because at the end, bigger builds have lower perimeter defense cap anyway. For the most part, you can only have around 50. So now for the next function, what about on jump shot contest? So for the test, I'll be doing the sequence here in lots of repetitions, and I'll take note of the challenge percentage and get the average. And for the results, pretty much the same trend as the lateral movements, as you put more, the boost gets bigger and bigger. Now, when looking at this graph, just ignore the actual numbers, sliders and blacktop might be different from the actual game. What's important here is the trend. Is it linear, is it going down, or is it going up like this? As I always say when I use numbers, what's important here is this line here. So when you look at this chart, the only takeaway you will have is that as you put more perimeter defense, the boost gets bigger and bigger. So now for the next one, what about on getting cutoffs? So I'll be doing these sequence here in lots of repetitions, and I'll score each animations. If it's a perfect blow by like this one, that'll be 1. If it's a hip riding action with a semi cutoff at the end, that'll be 2. And if it's a total cutoff, that'll be 3. Then we'll get the average. And in here you can see it's pretty much the same thing as the other two results. So this test here made a case stronger that as you put more perimeter defense, the boost grows exponentially. So now for the recommendation, of course it depends on your build and playstyle, but based on my test, I think the safest recommendation here is that as much as you can, you want to put more perimeter defense. Knowing that the boost gets bigger and bigger as you put more, it adds more value into this stat. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.